Let's work on an example to calculate the rate of return for escalated dollar cash flow and also constant dollar cash flow. This cash flow is given for an investment. So let's calculate the rate of return. In order to calculate the rate of return, uh, we write the equation present value of costs equals present value of uh, income plus present value of salvage. We don't have salvage value here. So present value of cost equals present value of income. Uh, we have two costs here, $1,000 at present time and $1,200 at year one. And uh, we are going to have three incomes of $800, $1,200 and $1,600. Uh, in year two, three, and four. So we write the equation and solve it for i and calculate the rate of return as 20.5%. Now let's consider escalation rate of 18% for costs and uh, escalation rate of 12% for income. Let's calculate the escalated dollar cash flow and then we will calculate the rate of return for the escalated dollar cash flow. In order to calculate the escalated dollar cash flow, we need to compound each payment by the escalation rate and considering the compound periods. Uh, the payment at year zero uh, is not going to be affected by the escalation, so it stays unchanged. The cost of $1,200 at year one uh, will be compounded with 18% escalation rate because this is a cost. And the compounding period will be one. The income of $800 at year two will be, will be escalated with 12% because this is an income. And the compounding period will be two years and so on. Uh, the income of $1,200 at year 3, 12% escalation rate and 3 years uh, compounding period and $1,600 income, 12% uh, escalation rate and 4 compounding period. And the result. So we are going to have the escalated cash flow as this cash flow that we can see here and we want to calculate the rate of return for this escalated dollar cash flow again we write the equation present value of cost equals present value of all income uh, we have two costs here a thousand dollars and a thousand four hundred sixteen dollars which are escalated dollar cash flow so we write the equation present value of costs equals present value of income uh, we have three incomes here, uh, the income at year two, income at year three, and income at year four. And we solve these two, and we solve this equation for I, and we calculate the escalated dollar rate of return as 33.6%. So we calculated our escalated cash flow as the cash flow that you can see here. Now let's consider the inflation rate of 15% and let's calculate the constant dollar cash flow and then calculate the rate of return for the constant dollar cash flow. In order to remove the effect of inflation rate from our calculations from our escalated dollar cash flow, we need to discount each payment in the escalated dollar cash flow by the inflation rate and considering the discounting period. So we need to multiply each payment in the escalated cash flow by the single payment present work factor or factor P over F considering the, the inflation rate and the discounting period. To calculate the constant dollar cash flow. So as you can see here, we discount each payment by the inflation rate, which was 15%, and the discounting period. You note that the present time is not going to be affected by the inflation rate. Uh, so we start from year one. The 
escalated dollar cash flow we multiply it by the single payment present word factor uh, this 15% is the inflation rate and one is the discounting period for year two in same inflation rates uh, discounting period is going to be two and so on for year three and year four and we calculate the result which shows the constant dollar cash flow so it means for example a thousand two hundred thirty one dollar at year zero would have the same purchasing power as a thousand four hundred sixteen dollars in year one and let's calculate the rate of return for this constant dollar cash flow uh, again, the, the equation is present value of cost equals present value of income. We have two constant dollar uh, cost and three incomes. So we write the equation and we solve it for I and we calculated the constant dollar rate of return at 16.2%. So we show it with I prime and it is the constant dollar rate of return.